Anna, you'll never guess what kind of car I'm in. John! No way! Have you bought an electric car? We talked about it, but I didn't know you planned to buy one so soon. <laughs> I didn't buy it. Yet. I'm taking a test drive to see if it suits me and if it fits my daily routine. Smart idea. Oh, I have lots of questions. Fire away. Well, you know how I worry about climate change. And an electric vehicle seems like a good idea. But I'm a bit hesitant because of the range. I've heard EVs cannot travel far enough on a single charge, especially as batteries age. I drive about 50 kilometers a day, and I'd hate to get stranded halfway there. You don't have to worry about the range, Anna. I drive about 40 miles per day, and EVs have plenty of range for me, and for most people for that matter. The real-world driving range of most EV models varies from 120 to 400 miles, and batteries are typically designed to last longer than the eight-year warranty. Really? That sounds pretty good. But doesn't the charging take like eight hours? Surely I don't want to spend hours in my car waiting for it to be charged. Certainly not, since the cars you Europeans drive are so small. <laughs> Very funny, John. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we have these public fast chargers. I see them more and more often these days. They can deliver anywhere from 40 to 130 miles of range in just 15 minutes. Other public chargers take about an hour for 75 miles of range. And if you're on a longer trip, you have to stop for lunch anyway. True. Oh, you know how I love road trips. And we Europeans do get enough days off to go on a proper road trip. Touché. But every now and then I also get to drive to other places besides the office. Then you'll just have to hope there are enough public charging stations, I guess. What if there isn't one on your route? Well, I can have a charger installed in my garage and charge the car overnight, so that's no problem. And as the EV market grows, the number of public charging stations will grow even more. But most of the time you'll charge at home or at work. Huh. We have chargers in front of our apartment building. And I did see a lot of charging stations during my holiday last year. Seems you can download an app on your phone that shows all the nearest stations. Yes, that's also what the car dealer where I got this test EV told me. There is one thing that worries me, though. I'm not sure if EVs are that much better for the climate than conventional cars. I can answer that one. I dived into the environmental pros and cons. EVs vary from better to much better for the climate, including battery production. This is true, even in countries where the electricity used for charging still comes mostly from non-renewable energy sources. And the air quality will improve, because EVs don't emit any harmful tailpipe pollutants. So you can keep on driving those limos that you call cars. <laughs> Sounds like a win-win to me. Apart from the costs, I'm afraid an EV is way out of my budget. Not to worry, Anna. The upfront cost can be a bit higher, that's true. But only after a couple of years, you'll be saving money on fuel and on maintenance costs. <laughs> that sounds reassuring. But John, what's it like to drive an EV? Not that different, actually. Maybe even a bit better because it accelerates really smoothly. Plus, it's quieter until I called you. That's right, John. You called me. But thank you for the chat and the information. Enjoy your blissfully quiet ride.